December 1987. Fierce, unprecedented riots erupted in the Gaza Strip. Within 24 hours, the entire West Bank was also ablaze, with demonstrators hurling rocks, bottles, and iron bars at Israeli troops. It took time for Israel to grasp that these were not routine clashes. This was an uprising. The Palestinian Intifada had begun. It was not a surprise, I must say. The dimensions were surprising because it came uh, uh, so suddenly. But uh, for me, it was not a surprise. And I was sure that with the time, we will be able to put an end to it. The Intifada returned the Palestinian issue to world attention. Israel's image plunged to new lows as scenes of troops clashing with Palestinian rock throwers lit up TV screens. For Israel, the Intifada was a watershed, a moral and ethical confrontation in which combat troops were reduced to dealing with street battles, crowd control, and chasing after rock-throwing teenagers. Israelis were split over what to do. Left-wingers calling for withdrawal from the occupied territories were labeled traitors by the right. Right-wingers demanded a hard-line, no-compromise approach. <laughs> 